Welcome back to the night challenge. In the last episode, I was able to escape a horrible cave and ended up back home with a brand new horse. So the obvious first thing that I wanted to do was to play with my new horse. Right, let's uh, let's check out how the uh, how the new horse munches then, because I haven't really ridden around with them much. So they're not very fast. I'd say, yeah, definitely slower than the nudge. Maybe uh, similar to, to what Hero was. How's jumping? Oh, jumping's good. Not top tier. No pun intended. Uh, but still pretty decent. And then health is okay. It seems like overall, Munch is remarkably average. <laughs> as far as horses go. At least it's not like painfully slow or, or anything. So it's not the uh, not the worst in the, the world. Uh, I realized I used all of my... Um, I used all of my coal making all of these torches while I was in the the mine, so I'm back to to, to using wood in the um uh, in the furnace, which is fine though. Like wood's easy enough to, to get, so it's not like the uh, the end of the the world. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm, get, I'm getting a bunch of um of stone being made. Uh, then I have a, a bit of cobblestone as well. That is uh, one of the good things from the the mining trip. I can't believe I've still got all of the items that I gathered from the the mining trip. That is a um that's not what I expected to to happen after I first died down there. I'll be honest. For a second, I was just like, uh oh, is this like game over? Are we like are we done with the series before it's begun? But now not only are we back with most of our stuff, um, uh, we have another horse. And uh, and yeah, all of the uh, the materials kind of good to to go uh, to carry on production on the uh, on the castle. Right, I've put down all of the cobblestone that I have. Uh, I've made a few more of the uh, the stone bricks to to build up the the towers. Uh, I'm still far away from being able to to kind of think about putting a roof uh, or anything uh, around here. Uh, but what I was considering doing was maybe around the uh, the entrance using some of this uh, this deep slate, uh, the cobbled deep slate. Uh, just because it's an another material that I have, and as soon as it takes so long gathering new materials, uh, you know, it'd be good to have a, a little bit more variety on the uh, on this castle. I've not really ever built any like proper big castles uh, in Minecraft before, and I always feel like that's kind of one of the the first things that people build when they uh, when they load up Minecraft, just because you know there's so many good different types of blocks that would uh, fit into a, to a castle. So I'm, I'm quite looking forward to hopefully having this as like quite a big impressive thing that I can kind of like look back on and be uh, proud of once I've um uh, yeah kind of ended up like nearly finishing the the series so let's kind of do this um as like a, a bit of a of an archway so if I kind of go like that there and then oh nope jumped off the horse I keep going to to crouch uh which obviously doesn't work because I'm trying to crouch so I don't fall off the block uh but then uh, I end up just jumping off the the horse I just got to be so careful when I do it to not like walk around at all because obviously I'm not allowed to to walk around. So I want to have that there so I can then end up going higher. Like I'm getting better at building as a horse, but it's still um it's still a bit clunky. Like one of the biggest problems is just you can't see what you're doing all of the time. Uh, you may have noticed compared to the beginning of the series I uh, the series I increased the FOV, which just basically makes it easier for me to like uh for me to like see everything. Uh, just basically because my shield and the horse and stuff just made it us. So I was wandering around the caves. I just literally couldn't see what I was doing. Uh, but yeah, that could be like the deep slate opening. And then the whole castle, I think, will go maybe like two or three blocks higher than that opening. Uh, and then the towers, of course, will go taller. And then I think, yeah, once we've done that, that will hopefully be a pretty, uh, pretty impressive looking building. Ready to, uh, intimidate all of my foes. Uh, basically the, uh, the villains over there in the, uh, in that tower. I then did what I keep doing throughout this series and what every good knight should always do, steal a bunch of stuff from the village, and then realised that I didn't have nearly enough materials to build the castle. So I came up with the great idea to dig a big uh, tunnel down to the ground where I could gather a bunch of stone while digging while also having a safe tunnel to go mining without just dropping down a giant pit like I have been doing in the past. But it didn't take me long to start getting just a little bit bored. I am so bored. This is so slow. Why am I doing this? I should go home. I cannot believe how long I've been digging for. And this is how far I've gone. All of you people out there watching this that only ever play Minecraft 
where you're not always on a horse. All of you people that play Minecraft, where you go mining, not on the back of a horse, you do not know how lucky you are. <laughs> it is ridiculous. But I need to get cobblestone, and I need a safe way to get down to a cave. So I need to do it. And I've just been digging the whole time, thinking... How could I do this quicker? I was like, could I blow it up with TNT? But like, it would take ages to get that much TNT. I was like, oh, I could like get an efficiency pickaxe, but then I need to make an enchantment table and stuff. And I realized that I just need to do it. I just need to, I need to do an honest day's work. I need to saddle up on my horse, get down to my little tunnel and get enough blocks so I can build my castle and a tunnel deep enough that I can go mining. So... Just appreciate that when you play Minecraft, you're not always on the back of a horse. And as you're watching this video, I'm cutting out all of the most boring bits, which is just this again and again and again. Oh, sandstone. What are you doing down here? I, sandstone, are you lost? <laughs> I think that just goes to rub it in how not deep I've gone. The fact that I'm still finding sandstone. <laughs> oh, that's just embarrassing. Anyway, I've, I've made a deal. Okay, this is my deal. And I've made this deal with myself, which means I'm guaranteed to accept the deal. I'm going to keep digging until this iron pickaxe breaks. And then I'm going to give up. Does that sound fair? So that means I've got to like, I've gone about halfway as deep as I'm going to go now. And then as soon as this breaks, I'm going to get out of this cave and not go in for a very long time <laughs> until I have a day with a spare three hours and I can carry on digging down. That's my deal and I accept it. Whoa! Okay, well, <laughs> that, um, that explains the sandstone. Okay, it looks like I was like kind of like digging into an ocean. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I will, uh, I will change direction, I guess. And uh, carry on digging uh, down, I don't know, this way, maybe? And hopefully not go into an ocean. Yay! My pickaxe broke! <laughs> I've, I've never been so happy for a tool to break. This, this is all I did. This is all I did. And you know what? It didn't even actually take that long. It just felt like it took so long because it was just so unbelievably boring. Uh, but I did it. Uh, so yeah, now I got uh, a bit more, uh, a few more materials to build out of. Uh, I got the uh, the sandstone as well. So it probably isn't gonna like fit in with the uh, the castle design very well, the uh, the sandstone. But uh, I'm gonna use it anyway, just because it's so much quicker to, to gather. So I'm gonna force my way to, <laughs> to incorporate uh, sandstone into to my design uh, somehow. And let's just try and at least get it like, um, I don't know, like airtight. I don't know if that's the uh, the right word for a castle. But let's get the, uh, the walls built up uh, a little bit better. And then, uh, yeah, maybe think about moving my bed uh, into the, uh, the castle. Right, so uh, I ran out of cobblestone. <laughs> I got a bit more smelting to make some more of the uh, the stone bricks. Why did I decide to run it all out of just cobblestone? Uh, anyway, yeah, so I think this layer here, I might just add a, a row of sandstone uh, just because um, I have sandstone and sandstone's just quicker to mine. Um, don't know if it will look good, but uh, I'm kind of beyond caring at this point just because of how monotonous uh, this uh, this would become. Who thought the night challenge would end up being so boring for me? <laughs> I think it's fine for you, but boring for, for me. So I'll do a row of sandstone along here, and then this will be where uh, I'll have my walkway uh, along the inside. And then I'm just going to do that out of wood because it, wood's just easier to gather because I can just cut down one log and then make a, a load of planks out of it. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing my designs out of necessity rather than what I want to do but uh yeah that's 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 what it's come to now so I head straight back down into my little pit and began digging away uh, but I once again gave myself the rule when my pickaxe breaks then I'm allowed to leave so I was wishing for it to break as soon as possible yay there goes Another pickaxe. I'm free! <laughs> I'm free to leave the cave by my own weird rules where I'm not allowed to leave the, <laughs> the cave until the pickaxe breaks. Oh dear, I didn't think this was going to be so uh, so monotonous. On the bright side, it's, it's actually really good for like uh, contemplation. Just like endlessly digging like that. Because normally I'm like, I want to build something and I just go and just start building it. But this way, oh no! Oh, get off, get off, get off. Oh no, no. 
I need the whole. I, I need to. I need to move out of this tiny little cobblestone shack <laughs> into the castle. Is what I need to do. Yeah, it gives me time to actually like think and contemplate. And the more I thought about it, the more I just thought about how ugly and stupid. I mean, you can see it there. It would be to have just that big trail of sandstone. So. Um, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind again. I'm gonna just use like, cause I, I kept quite a, a bit of like andesite and stuff like while I was down there. So tell you what, I'm just gonna do like andesite around the uh, the top up there, uh, and then we can do um, uh, yeah, we could use like sandstone maybe on the inside of the castle. Like we'll find some use for the sandstone just because I've covered up so much of it. <laughs> I need to find uh, some sort of, uh, of of use for it. So uh, yeah, let's do like a row of like uh, andesite around that area, and then we can start working on some of the inside. Right, well, this is uh, starting to look a little bit more like it, isn't it? Starting to look a little bit more castle-like. Uh, I cut out some more trees. Uh, I got some more um, of the, the stone smelting away uh, so I can make some more of the, the stone brick. So uh, let's build up these towers as much as I can uh, with the, the stone bricks that I have. Uh, and then we can start uh, working a little bit more on the inside. So this like bit here, if uh, if you didn't hear what I said uh, in a previous episode about what the plan is, this is just going to be like a, a walkway uh, around the top of the castle. Uh, it's going to serve no purpose. <laughs> There's no reason for this here other than it will be a place that I can ride up to on one of my horses and kind of check out the area. And then, of course, these towers uh, eventually <laughs> are going to go much, much higher uh, once uh, I end up with uh, with even more cobblestone. So, yeah, I'm just going to go around like maybe three blocks wide uh, with this uh, these oak planks around the outside. And then I might do like full oak logs holding it up. And then on one side, I'll do some uh, fence posts. And then on this side, I'll kind of do like, um, I'm not sure what material. Maybe I could use andesite again. I kind of do like the old castle thing where they kind of have like these little like ridge bits here. You know, where, I don't know, normally archers would be shooting arrows down, but I can just be standing with my horse. Uh, we'll do that kind of uh, along the, the top. As I said before, I am purposely going as boring as possible. Not as boring as possible, as uh, traditional as possible. Like I want this to look like if someone like said, hey, draw a castle, this is the first thing they'd think to, to draw. So that is what we're going for. This is the knight challenge. I want to be a knight. I don't want to be in a candy floss <laughs> castle. I want to be in a traditional stone castle. Castle For this series, normally <laughs> normally I always go for the fantastical. Uh, but in this series, I want to go uh, and do a, a proper old school kind of medieval style castle. And I think so far, uh, that's kind of what I've gone for. I can't remember if I tested this already. I've, I've been doing a lot of experiments with horses and I can't remember whether I tested whether they can climb up ladders or not. <laughs> so if I've already tested this and it turned out to be a, a big failure, then I apologize, but I cannot remember whether horses can climb off ladders. I hope they can, because if I make a bunch of ladders now and they can't climb up ladders, I have literally <laughs> no other use for the ladders whatsoever. But I've been getting annoyed at trying to find ways to get up to the top of here and struggling to, to do it with a, with a horse. So I tell you what, let's just do it on this like wall here as just a bit of a, of a test first. Can- oh no! Oh no, they can't. Well, actually, I guess they could like- I wonder if they could like parkour up ladders, I assume, because if it's there like that, I could jump and get onto that bit. Yeah, but that, that's not that's not really any better either. I guess actually this might work out OK because uh, I haven't done this side yet, so I could do a, a staircase up that side there. And then that would be the the way I end up getting to the uh, to the, the top. So what should I do the staircase out of? Should I uh, do the staircase out of uh, of stone? Or should I kind of just carry on using the oak wood? I mean, the oak wood's easier just because I can get the uh, the oak wood so much quicker just because, like, for every block of, like, logs I cut down, that's, like, four planks. So, uh, yeah, I think just for, for ease, I'm going to do the uh, the staircase out of um, of wooden planks. So, tell you what, let me, just, let me just go do this now. I will get back to that tree. I know it's super <laughs> frustrating when someone starts cutting down a tree and then stops. I understand that. But, um, yeah, let me, uh, let me just go do the staircase and then we can finish around the, the top and then uh, I'll see how many more trees I need to cut down. I realize that I don't even need the staircase to be actual stairs because horses can kind of just like run up single blocks anyway so it could all just be giant blocks but I think that might just look a bit weird so I might as well um seeing as I've made these stairs anyway kind of commit to that. I also realize the staircase is going to have to be two blocks wide uh, just because horses are um 
hope you don't mind me saying this, uh, Nudge, but uh, they're <laughs> a little bit wider. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do like a, a two block wide staircase like this. But I think this will look pretty cool anyway. But I do want to make sure that you can still go past it. So I want you to be able to like run around the entire side uh, at the at the top. So let's go make a, a few more stairs so I can go and fill in the, the rest of this. And that will be the walkway around the, the top. Uh, and then I can kind of decide about what the uh, the rest of the, the styling at the top here is going to be like. I'm actually starting to get, like, <laughs> to feel a little bit nostalgic about, like, not having anything. Like, this is, like, remind me back when, like, the whole front of my house and my lovely world was just, like, a giant tree farm. I just had, like, trees all over the place. And just, like, when you're, like, trying to build stuff, but you, like, just don't have quite enough materials, so you go out just to gather a little bit more just for, like, what you need. Because any time you've spent, like, any decent amount of time in a new survival world, or if you're like me anyway, you end up kind of gathering way more materials than you need. Like, you get all excited on a mining trip, and you just keep on going and going and going, and you come home with, like, three stacks of iron or whatever, and then you're like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna need to get iron for, like... I don't know, four months or whatever. You're just like, you're basically set for life at that point. And then any other little trip, you just kind of keep topping it up. So it's kind of cool, like going back to like old school where I don't want to do that because it's so difficult to do all of those basic things and so slow when you're on a horse. So I'm only like, I'm only just getting what I need. Um, I'm sipping from my cup of Minecraft rather than gulping it down like I normally do. And that's kind of how I used to play, but I haven't played in such a long time, so that's quite cool. It's making it look quite cool. Look at my castle! It's gonna look so awesome, like, in the distance. I kind of want to do, like, um, I want to build something here as, like, a cool place to, like, view the, the castle. Like, imagine when that's there like that, with, like, a big pathway and then, like, a big bridge going across here. This is this is the first time I've kind of really realized that you know what this uh this might end up looking pretty decent. It's definitely not there yet. And of course, anything between now and its completion could go wrong, which could literally just outright end the series. But for me now, uh, how it's looking, I think it's looking uh, all right. So uh, yeah, as you saw, I cut down a bunch more trees uh, so I can make uh, some more uh, wooden planks, and then that should be enough to to finish those little walkways. After returning home, I very patiently waited for it to become night time so I could go to sleep and then in the morning I got straight back to work on the castle. Right, this is basically them all filled in, as I said, where I kind of go out three blocks wide around the hole howl outside. The only problem is, is I was going to do fences here, which means you won't be able to get through this bit. So I even need to go like four blocks wide for all of it. Well, actually, I suppose I could do like, um... Let me see if I've, I've got any spare fences before I make any more. Once again, sipping <laughs> from my cup of Minecraft, the weirdest analogy. And I do! I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I checked this. Also, my inventory is, um, getting typically messy in, uh, in my, <laughs> in my usual style. So let's empty some, uh, some stuff out. So I don't know if this would be a bit weird. I don't know how if it would look weird, but it might be a bit weird to do. Is if I did, like, fences along here, I might be able to just kind of, like, go along the, uh, the edge of them. Is that a prop? That's not a prop. That's fine, isn't it? Like, you don't, you don't. Does that bother you? It doesn't bother me, and so hopefully it doesn't bother you. It'll just be like that, and then if I want to go this way, I just can kind of go along the edge like that. That's fine, that's fine. Because I, I don't want to just stick out this side further, because it would look weird kind of only sticking out one of the sides further than the, the others. Uh, and I don't want to go four blocks wide for the, the whole thing, because I think it's going to like end up kind of getting like too thin in that instance. So let's go make myself uh, enough of these fences. Uh, what do you reckon, like 51? Will this be enough? Hopefully it'll be enough because that's like most of my uh, my wood used uh, for for this. And we can go and fill this uh, around the the inside. And then yeah, once these wheel, uh, walls up are, are up a little bit higher, it's going to be starting to look like like yeah, it'll be the sort of thing you could look at it from the outside and you assume it's finished. And then you go on the inside and see it's all <laughs> it's all falling apart and like barely uh, barely touched up. Uh, and then obviously then the the towers are going to be the other thing to do. But to do that, I'm going to need a load more stone, and I'm not bothering do <laughs> doing that today. Uh, so yeah, let's just get uh, this part done around the outside and then yeah let's decide what these these walls are going to be so I think they should go higher than that I feel like there should be another row uh, and then we could do another row and then maybe just do half slabs uh, poking up on the top so we've got andesite there maybe we could do like one more row of andesite all along the top here like that and then either andesite half slabs uh, or any other stone uh, that I might happen to have lying around uh, and then yeah let's let's try that out and uh, see what that looks like. 
And that's what I did. I did try it out to see what it looks like. But you are not allowed to see what it looked like. Well, you're not allowed to see what it looked like yet. That's because that is the end of this episode of the Knight's Challenge. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing me finally making some good progress on my castle. And that progress will continue in the next episode of the Knight Challenge, which will be up very soon on the channel. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!